What is up everyone? Welcome back to Swiggy in 4. Not really sure what we were supposed to do. I think we might have needed the rest there, I'm not sure. Yep, okay, we're good. I think we might be done with everything here in Razoril maybe. Yeah, I already talked to everybody here. Not sure if it'll let us leave or not. I guess we can try. Yeah. But as you can tell, uh, since it's not sunset, there's no chest here anymore. So, uh, like I said in the last episode, if you didn't get the Guardian Brace or the Hero Shield, the Treasure Map, and the Silver Hammer, those are all four mist now. Oh, but we got him in the last episode, so doesn't matter. Okay, well, I guess we can just leave then. Yep. All right, cool. Probably gotta go to the war room to advance the story. Oh, nope, here we go. All right, the next naval battle is battle once more. Pirate Snow, he's now a pirate. Humph. I see there's a bit of history between you two. Even more so, a reason why you shouldn't let your guard down. We got a new ship on the right as well, as you can tell. So, only fire rune shells. I doubt we'll have problems, but we don't know what they're thinking yet. Listen, do your setup carefully. I'll just uh, equip one of everything then. Oh wait, we want her water for sure. So I got most of the elements except lightning. Guess I'll give something to this. I think hole plus 10 is like defense, I think. Mm. I don't really... It doesn't really matter too much. So let me give him whoever. Just don't want him to die, you know. I actually should have gave runes to that one though. I think Katarina, or no, yeah, Katarina is the strongest. Or maybe it's Pablo, I'm not sure. I think Katarina had 32 though. Notice doesn't know how to do anything right, it seems. How many times can one man fail? Just as I thought. Alright, so that was the easiest naval battle in the entire game. <laughs> Just pick water and you win. No. So you're a pirate now? Shut up. I can do what I want. <laughs> what should we do? Snow, would you like to join us? I just can't bring myself to work with you. Huh. I 
understand. Why do people flock to you so much? People just keep leaving me. Why doesn't anyone like me? <laughs> well, maybe don't do stupid things. All right, anyway, now we can recruit some more characters. Oh, we're gonna have to put certain people in our party to recruit these people though. All right, I put Katarina in my party. We're gonna need Mitsuba in the party as well late. Oops, I didn't want to go to Middleport. I meant to go to Razoril, but I don't know if it'll let us go back there or not. Might have to wait. Do you think it'd be at the top of the list? Up oh, there it is. We need to go to the port. Oh, we're gonna need Katarina to recruit Conrad. Are you the one who rescued Razrael? <laughs> So what do you want with me? Won't you join us? Meaning get on your ship? Hmm, alright. I'll get on your ship. I hope it'll help me with my investigation. Investigating a certain vanished village. It's a village that was on the border of the Scarlet Moon in Kuluk. Apparently Graham Cray, the merchant of death, seems to have been behind the, inc the incident that caused it to vanish. You remember suing him as well, right? So we're looking to it together then? Federica has joined us, then I'll be going on ahead. So she's an archer character. Alright, next we're gonna go to the inn and a bit of recruit Conrad. Finally. We saw him earlier on in the game, and now we finally can recruit him. Oh, you gotta put Katarina, Katarina in your party though. Katarina, it's good to see you safe and sound. Knights would be lost if you had fallen as well. Master, don't call me that, it's ancient history, I've long since retired. I believe I know the entire story. Well, how about it? And this old man come along as well? A master? I'll leave a decision to the leader. What do you say, Razor? It would be an honor. Alright, let's go. Since I'm going, I intend to work hard with no regrets. Conrad has joined us. Hmm. So you have many party members. I shall go on ahead then. Alright, got him out of the way. Alright, now we need to go to recruit Fungi. And another character in the on the roof. Finally, recruit Fungi as well. Fungi is one of the early characters too. Razor, you, I can't believe you're okay. Thank goodness, I'm so glad. Say, Razor, won't you take me with you too? I'll make sure the knights never go hungry. I might just be a cook, but I'll try to my best to fight with everyone too. Okay, let's go. Fungi has joined us, alright, cool. Alright, let's go to the roof now.
Here we have a, a, Mar a Maria. From up here, doesn't it look like humans are really insignificant? So, do you want something from me? What are you doing at the Hall of Nights? I was asked to help the people here. Well, I'm kind of like their bodyguard. Those cook bastards burn everyone's houses down, so the citizens had no choice but to gather here. Won't you join us? But I have to be here for the people. Lady Mary, please go on ahead. Everyone, will you be alright now? Yes, Razor has been rescued. This will be a fresh start for us. Thank you for so much for everything. We hope you will put your incredible skills to good use for the Razor Co. Okay, that's our contract. Then our contract's over, I understand. Razor, I'll go too. After all, I'm already in it up to my neck. Until the conflict reaches a conclusion, I'll cooperate with your side. Better be grateful. <laughs> Well, I'll be on my way. Well, I'm grateful for every recruit. I love recruiting characters in games. Okay, there's still two more characters we can recruit, and apparently I missed one as I was running past people. But whatever. We, we need to go back anyway. Well, actually, no, I did that in the wrong order. I actually should have... Uh, recruited the other character first. It's fine though. Anyway, if we go next to the armor shop, we have a character here, Gretchen. You're a razor, correct? Correct. My name is Gretchen. I have been searching for you. I spent plenty of time alone in the mountains honing my swordsmanship when I came into town I heard of you and could not contain myself let me join you in battle sir please yes please come with us then I shall go on ahead all right let me go see if they have any bar bargain items here they didn't have any when I first came here but they might have some now Yep, unicorn boots and a bolt hat. All right, next up we need to go to the inn and sleep. Stay the night here. Now we need to go to the back street. There's a character we can recruit back here. Carl, hmm, you want me to join your group? Well, perhaps the time has come for me to test my strength. I think I'll come with you. Carl has joined us. And I shall go on ahead. Alright, so there's a character I could have been battling earlier, but I didn't battle her earlier. But we can go to the Nanal Square and there'll be a character there. I do want to go to the armor shop first and see if they have any bargain items and then we'll go to the square oh, I should have ah, got to take Katarina out of my party I also need Mitsuba as well let me do that real quick actually I gotta put Mitsuba in guys sorry we're gonna need Mitsuba to recruit a particular character So let me do that real quick. I don't remember, there she is. All 
All right, and we'll go to uh, the armor shop now. Nope, no rare funds. Okay, or bargain it. I get them mixed up because I'm so used to Swigging in 2 where they were called rare finds. And then in this game they're called bargain items. I don't know why they decided to change the name of it, but... On guard. And it's boss time against Maxine. Now you gotta fight her three times. She's not gonna be that hard at this point in the game because... I should have fought her sooner, but it's okay. I'll just put her boss in like, uh, I'll just put all three fights against her in the all bosses video. But she has the wind rune and she can cast like, she puts to sleep, but she can also cast like the shredding, which is going to rip us to shreds. Apparently she has the Earth Rune too, which is kind of a weird combination. Hope oh, she has a magic barrier, who cares? You guys want to wake up from the sleep today? Oh, there's the shredding. It does a lot of damage because she has high magic, but it's something we can't handle. There we go, Maxine. And we gotta fight her two more times as this one, so. So the next spot is in Nay. So I'll meet you guys over in Nay and we'll take her on again. Oh yeah, you can recruit him here too if you have Mitsuba in your party. Say, you know about the girl who was tricking people into fighting her? Are you also a victim? I'm the victim, what are you saying? Oh wait, it's a razor. Isn't that a little mean of you? You, I found you at last. Now it's so at this time. Oh, you're the sucker from before. Ha 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 ha. I'm sorry, but I quit doing that. Now I'm in the middle of an adventure with Sir Razor and the others. If I know if you won't come with us. Ha 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 ha. Must be lonely without anyone to fight, right? Come on. Well, what does she come with us? All right. It is too bad we, you can't settle this. We can't settle this, but. I'll show you the true power of the flowing strike sword. Ha ha ha. Oh, we get along. Jeremy has joined us. Be on my way then. Alright, so now I'll meet you guys in Nay. Alright, I'm here in Nay Harbor. We're about to enter the Stonecutter's Field here. We'll head to this area and we'll better get to Maxine. There she is, right over here. I'm gonna get on guard. We got battle for the second time. It's boss time. It's Maxine again. Ha! Drop her on her head. Just like when she was born. Nah, I'm kidding. That was wrong. Okay, that's called Funeral Wind right there. That has a chance to inflict instant death, I think. So she has more HP this time around. As you can tell. You're gonna do a physical attack? That's not very smart of you. You're a mage woman. She forgot she was a mage for a second there, guys. Finish it, Kika.
All right, we got battle one more time after this. I'll never forget this. Good for you. All right, I'm here at the end of Razoril. Okay, we don't have to fight her a third time. All right. Never mind then. All right, you only have to fight her twice. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll be going on the head then. Or ahead. I don't know why I said then, because she didn't say then. All right. So that's everything we could do in that area. Razoril. I actually want to see if I can go to the Nest of Pirates and uh, see if we can get that uh, missable... Um, oh, you can't even teleport to the Nest of Pirates. I guess we have to go there for the storyline, I'm guessing. Let's see. If that's the case. Yep, we have to go to the Nest of Pirates. Okay, so we can just teleport to Hermitage Island then and get over there, but... Um... There's some couple more characters we can recruit up at this point in the game. Alright, let's go downstairs to the fifth floor. And let's go talk to Pablo. And there's a character we can recruit in Middleport. So Razor, I've heard that in Middleport there is an Atea for a sorcerer named Warlock. This warlock person is so incredible, they say rune cannons would never have come into existence without him. Let me give you an idea of just how great he is. First, he turned, he found a way to get, put a rune's power in a rune shell. Oh, pardon me. When I started talking about rune cannons, I just can't stop. So, so I, what I wanted to say is, if you ever in Middleport, I thought we might get him to join us. Though, by now, he might be quite elderly. Also, the Atea apparently has some sort of trap where we are supposed to choose the wrong way or something. As a Sorlock, Sorcerer of Murloc, meeting him would be well worth it. Remember to choose the wrong way. Okay. Alright. So, let's go ahead and head and leave now. And actually, well, we can just teleport back here. Um, I don't really want to put a. Uh, hmm. I think I might put Lino and Cordis in the party since I've been built up. Uh, his weapon maxed out and everything. We also have the silver hammer, so we can upgrade our weapons even more now. I don't want to use Ted though because Ted's is gonna annihilate the boss battle. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have a fight a boss coming soon, but I don't know if we'll do it in this episode since we're already at like 20 minutes. So I don't want to head to the house in this episode. I think what we'll do to cl close out this episode um, is upgrade our weapons some. Oh wait, a new hammer for me. Thank you. Wait a minute, okay. Wait, isn't this hammer is amazing? Okay, I think Lino will get a new weapon here, but I don't, I'm not going to upgrade his weapon anyway right now. Because I don't plan to use him um, long term. I want to power up Kika's weapon first. She takes priority because uh, she has the Falcon Rune, which is really good. All right, that's all we can afford for now. All right, let me go back to my room here. Actually, we'll read some, uh, yeah, we'll read some here and then Desmond reporting. I noticed that Mr. Ornan tends to stare at Miss Louise quite often. Should we say something to him? Paula says hello. This is Paula. Well, please do your best. Dario, I'll introduce myself. Hey, I'm Lady Kika's number one man, Dario. 
Still no one messes with me. Conrad, I look forward to working with you. Around the time when you were a trainee in Guyan, I had already retired. I don't know how far an old man like myself can go, but I'll do my best. Helga, the ship. If the ship is damaged, I just need to tell Mr. Tov, correct? Akagi, Mr. Ramada. He seems to have a lot of trouble. A lot, a lot of troubles. I think he... His superiors were always on his case and he had a rough time with it and well we didn't cut him any slack either we pretty much said what we wanted to say Pablo a favor please increase the number of room cannons please Natalie windows there are many kinds of windows please come see me whenever you feel like changing the mood of the room Isaac hello uh my name is Isaac, um, bye. <laughs> I guess we could read the newspaper before ending as well. From Peralt. I've been reading his throughout the entire... Oh, we got a new window set too. This one right here, I think. Yeah, I kind of like that. I don't mind using that one. Oh wow, we have a lot of new issues. I think we just read six last time, or? Uh. I'm not sure if I read this one or not, actually. There today, Sir Razor met with Lord Rhinebeck II, the Lord of Middleport. On this occasion, Middleport swore to maintain its cooperative relationship with the Razor Co. There are also reports indicating Lord's son wished Join us aboard the Enterprise. Yeah, okay, I did read this one. Okay, so we already did number six. On the Nall, Kuluk troops launched a massacre of the Islanders. Reports indicate there were numerous casualties. I need to turn on my AC. It's hot in here. The reason for this incident may be traced back to the breakdown of negotiations between the Nall and Kuluk. An all island chief had this to say about Razor, who helped to bring closure to the matter. I'd like to work with the Razor Co. from now on in a joint effort to bring the Kuluk down. Fishing competition results. The other day, the fishing contest sponsored by Mr. Ugetsu had the deck in a festive mood. The winner was Miss Louise, agent known amazingly. She caught a sardine that was 163 centimeters long. All fish caught in the contest were served to everyone as dinner that night, which was also well received. Alright, so we got a new story now. Instead of Madame Depression, it's the Road Swordsman. Chapter 1. When will we be able to defeat that ugly monster, the Middleport's Lord frankly said? The beautiful city of Middleport, like a gem floating in the sea. The town is now in an uproar, preparing to welcome the giant ship said to be gathering Kuluk detractors. And yet, an octopus monster has taken residence in nearby waters. This would be no time for warm welcomes. There had been ships that had set out to defeat the monster, but not one has, had returned. Lord was at his wit's end. Is there no hero willing to do something about the mo that monster? Cannot be helped. I will go, Father. The one who spoke up was the Lord's son, Rhinebeck. From the most refined way he behaved, people called him the Rose Swordsman. A chief pledges, pledges support. In response to Sir Razor's repeated requests for cooperation, the Nay human side village chief finally succumbed they could not ignore the cooperative relationship following such as oval and middleport with the razor co it seems the nay village chief's conclusion to this effect is behind the declaration of his cooperation human relations at work it has been three years since i started working 
my present workplace. I gotta plug in my phone. At first I learned all sorts of things from Mr. D. who was there before me. Now I got I get more work done and I believe my superiors acknowledge my hard work as well. Even so Mr. D still orders me to cook something or massage his feet. He says it is because he is my se senior. Do I have no choice but to endure this senior junior relationship? Hervey alias. Answer Mr. Dario endure. If I were you Mr. D would endure a punch in the face over and over again. <laughs> Nero Swordsman, Chapter 2, At Sea. How tranquil. It, it makes you want to fish. Seeing it like this, everything is so normal. Murmurs Attendant Mickey. It just means what we can see is not everything, Mickey. I see how astute, young master. Just as Mickey slapped his knee to show his appreciation, a loud boom roared through the depths of the sea. It is here, young master. You must not panic, Mickey. The sounds of the waves were so loud, they drowned out their voices. Soon, the monster appeared before the ship. The monster used a tentacle like the leg of an octopus to strike their ship repeatedly. Mickey is desperately fighting back, too, but their swords are like needles being st stuck in a mountain, totally useless. Young master, will we die here just like the others? From, Mickey, from Mickey's exhausted hand, his sword was about to slip out at any minute. Since it's come to this, the rose swordsman focuses his body on the red rose rune on his body. Oh, red rose. In an instant, the world was babed in red. The battle against the Kuluk occupation forces ended in victory and the recapture of Razrael. Razrael taken back is what it's called. <clears throat> During all this, Sir Razor called upon the Razrael residents to rise to the occasion. They certainly responded. Despite the Kuluk army withdrawing Razrael in a state of flux due to the lack of leadership, currently survivors of the Gaian Knights that used to exist on Razoril have become guardians of the island. You drink me some water real quick, hold on. That's better. Strange report. There have recently been numerous reporting sightings of a strange ship about cells that appears with the fog. We await stories from those who have witnessed it firsthand. Rose Swordsman, Chapter 3, Mickey wakes up to an almost stifling scent of roses. Sniffling scent of roses. The sea is completely calm and the ship is floating serenely like a cradle. Mickey carefully raised his aching body from the ground. A giant octopus was floating before his eyes. It had died of suffocation covered in rose petals young master you did it rose swordsman was asleep nearby well done young master please rest well until we get to middleport the story of the rose swordsman and mickey spread all like wildfire all throughout middleport amidst all that the giant ship said to be fighting the kuluk safely arrived in middleport's harbor At that night the leader of the giant ship razor was at the welcoming banquet prepared by the lord having heard the rumors he could not sit still he professed i'd like to welcome the rose swordsman to my ship to this the rose swordsman responded modestly my powers are not so great but i cannot just return like this no sooner had he said that razor suddenly threw his own glove at the Rose Swordsman. Alright. So we're all caught up on that. Oh, I didn't mean to go. Oh, I went to the wrong one. Wrong exit. Anyway, I'm in the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.